my most oppressive time is when people try to introduce me. There is nothing great except by grace. It is grace that makes great. There are no great men in my view but the backing of the great God behind ordinary people that makes them appear great. They are fronting for the great God. There is nothing about you and me that is really an achievement but an engracement. It is all of grace. But grace multiplies by knowledge. Grace is not free. Grace is cultivated. It's a grace and peace be multiplied to you through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. Destiny is not a destination. It's an adventure. Nothing defines destiny like mentality. For as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. It is failure mentality that makes a failure. And it is lack mentality that makes a pauper. In the same vein, it is success mentality that makes a star. Our imagination is what sets the pace for our destination. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And this they began to do, and now nothing can be refrained from them, which they had imagined to do. Genesis 11 verse 6. It is possibility mentality that makes a giant. Because only those who dare ever delivers. Only those who dare ever delivers. Our thought will either make us or break us. And until we change the way we think, we cannot change the way we live. We are told to be renewed, to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Until our minds are renewed, our lives cannot be transformed. There must be a change in our outlook, a change in our perspective, a change in our imaginations. There must be a change in the way we view things before there can be a change in our lives. For instance, every child of God is redeemed a lion. So we are, we are redeemed to dominate life's situations and circumstances. But the lion is strongest among the beasts and it turneth not away for any. Nothing cows a lion. And he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. And as the father has sent him, so as he sent us. So we are spiritual lions by redemption. Now, now, so you hardly find the lion cry. A lion roars. A lion does not shed tears. It carries dominion virtues within it. It's just in charge of the, of the woods and the forest. Somebody's crying is over. And it takes a lion heart to have a lion share. There is nothing God will ever tell a man to do that will not require the heart of a lion to get it done. There are giants in every man's promised land. It takes a lion heart to take the territory from them. It's important the way we think. Also, we are redeemed as eagles. That means ordained to scale unusual heights. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 9 to 14. So you are not a vulture. You are an eagle. You are not a duck to be playing around homes. You are an eagle. That means you are redeemed to be outstanding. It should rule your mind. One of the things that changed my life very early, my spiritual life, my spiritual journey, is the fact that there is no difference between the Jews and the Greek, the white and the black. I will never be a racist. I was raised on the laps of virtually all the ones that were part of my early life were white. The good mother that led me to Christ is still alive. She's in Florida. I grew on the laps of Egan from 76. He's white. But what I'm saying is this, we have a universal gospel that applies to every race and color at the same rate. Do you need a change in your mindset? For there is no difference between the Jews and the Greek. The same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. With your faith stirred up, it has happened somewhere else. It could happen anywhere else. This is vital. God is no respecter of colors. God is no respecter of races. He's the father of all. We all belong to one family in Christ. God remains our eternal father. So we share same DNA. Everyone that is born again shares same DNA with God. So we belong to the same order of beings. There should be no place for harassment. My prayer is that that ceiling which you have placed on your life will be lifted today. Take that ceiling off 
it's not put there by god ignorance place it there faith is a universal currency delivers same value in every nation of the earth faith has the same purchasing power in all nations of the earth no race has an advantage over the other that's the way god has made revelation 5 verse 9 we are redeemed from every tongue redeemed from every kindred redeemed from every nation brought into same one family no one has an age over the other galatians 3 29 every child of god is a spiritual jew so whatever applies to the jews in scriptures applies to you much more romans 2 28 and 29 for it's not a jew that is one outwardly but it's a jew that's one inwardly so we are the original jews that's why christ was crucified to connect you and me to the blessings of abraham christ has redeemed us from the cause of the lord they made a cause for us for it's written cause is everyone that hanged upon the tree that the blessings of abraham might come to us who are gentiles that we might obtain the promise of the spirit through faith so you are a spiritual jew this is vital until we change the way we think we can't change the way we live most people must have heard me say several times i'm not surprised that you find that say where we are today i would have been surprised we are not there thank god for being faithful to his word because all of god's plan and purpose for us is contained in scriptures jesus found his mission from scriptures john found it it's important to open it and find out what is written of you you are long overdue to find what is written of you you need the mentality of a star not to end up as a failure it is ignorance that makes a believer to think he has arrived when he has not begun it's complete spiritual ignorance the salt of the earth so you are asset of inestimable value the world needs you you are the light of the world you are the salt of the earth you give taste to living you preserve the system from decadence that's who you are so you are not a burden to your world you are a blessing this should rule your mind it should help in the way we approach life i am not a burden i am a blessing i'm not a liability i'm an asset you arrive at any place you are looking for what to add not what to take you are looking for what to contribute not what to consume you are driven by value addition mentality if your child is not changing class are you an excited father you put a child in school and it's in primary one this year primary two, one next year primary one the third year no how long are you going to be in the same class i guess that the founders of education philosophy saw that look that annually you are to be appraised for the next level may the appraiser your appraiser be favorable this year you have gone around that mountain long enough it's time to enforce a change of level that's god's agenda say there was no light that's why you feel the exam there was no candle or no lantern or no telephone light change of level should be by by all means mentality all scriptural biblical legitimate means not by crook and by all biblical means by all legitimate means i refuse to be at the same spot enough is enough you don't wait for things to happen you either make them happen or they never happen you work at making them happen he said work out your own salvation and they say well, you must work out your own change of level your change of level won't happen you have to write the required test the required exams to change class even if your father were the headmaster and the principal of the school you must write the exam to change class if you are not ready for the exam you're explaining i have a headache a backache you will still write it when your headache is over so your change of level places a definite demand on your life now listen to me you can inherit anything but no status you can inherit cars inherit land inherit houses but not status if your father were a professor and is now gone and he will to you his professorial title and you apply for a job with it god have mercy they will lock you up and imprison you without any prison terms they just be there because you are funny enough to think that you can inherit the worth of your father you may inherit his wealth but not his worth the worth of your life is as worked out by you now more dangerously if your father were perhaps a heavyweight wrestling champion and he wield his belt to you and you now 
you are challenged to defend that title. Then you now came out. The professional wrestler will take you up like this and say, where do you want me to land you on the head? And by the time it throws you down, you are broken to spare parts. You cannot inherit the worth of a man. Because I know many of us here came from quite some very fantastic backgrounds. Unfortunately, it doesn't make you. Whatever you don't earn never adds value to you. Wealth gotten by vanity shall diminish, but he that gathers by labor shall increase. So get ready. You have to pay the price to change your level. Your father can't write exam for you, even though he's the headmaster of the school. No, that will be exam practice. They will lock the two of you up. Therefore, lift up the hands that hang down and the feeble may hebrews 12 12 and 13 and make straight path for your feet lest that which is lame be turned out of the way but rather let it be healed this is crucial every object assumes a state of rest until relevant forces appear applied to it if i want to pick an item from the floor can i use my teeth for that relevant forces the bending force the gripping force and the lifting force. Otherwise, you'll be there forever. We must identify the relevant forces for the change of level that we're thinking of. For instance, somebody wants a change of level financially. There is no short call. You are either a covenant practitioner or you are a covenant victim. There is no prayer of any anointed man that would change anybody's financial status applied revelation is our only guarantee for change of position there's no revelation you can die in frustration with revelation until you put it to work it won't deliver no result it's time to be awake we're a people of equal destiny why are some living like destitute this is my advice for us you don't know enough of god be desperate to know God more.